When Cultural Olympia approached me to make a piece of work working with people in Swansea, I immediately thought of the Vetch and thought about how we could maybe transform this piece of land. People have really taken it to their heart and they've taken on the project to, you know, and they run it so, so well and they have a sense of pride and community here. It's been fantastic. Do you use coffee? Do you use coffee? She makes lovely coffee, man. <laughs> Spot on. It's like an outdoor community centre and it's fetched the community together. I think it's just a wonderful opportunity for people to get to know people that you probably wouldn't see. I got to know Peter around the corner and he, he lived there for years and I didn't know he lived there. It just fetches everyone together and everybody chats about the same things. Oh look, I've got made got this, I've got that. Oh, do you want to grow this? Would you like to try that? And we've learned from one another and it's really healthy as well to be out in the open air instead of being sat at home. Huh? I said if people are bored on a Saturday afternoon, they might as well come here. Did you got my message, did you? Yes. Oh, you're one. I love, oh, may, may I kiss you? Oh, I got it. Oh, no, come here, come here. I know you don't do this. I think a lot of people ask, like, how, how is this an art project or where is the art element? And um, I think what we've long we decided ages ago was that it didn't matter if people didn't think it was art. Lots of people don't think that gardening could be art. Um, and I think what's really interesting about it is that people have accepted that we come here together, we build things, we cook, we grow vegetables, we talk about all kinds of things. People's cultures, nationalities are expressed on the site because of the diversity of people we're working with here. Um, and I think all those things that come out of the project, that's the artwork, it's the dialogue that people are having, it's the way that people are building things, people are making stuff uh, out of wood and scraps of wood and things like that. So it's really about being resourceful and creative but not labelling it necessarily as an artwork and not planting potatoes in a particular shape. People often ask are things planted in a particular way and it's not, it's just about creating a space for gardening. It's made a difference for me because I wasn't very well before I came over here and now I feel a lot better getting my confidence back as well by coming over here and it's been th very th therapeutic for me. There's a lot of people around you that are in flats as well, which haven't got a garden. So it's important to keep this site, well, for the community. And I think that there is enough people to carry it forward and to take it on. Definitely, you know, because uh, I think you've got to have people to run it and to manage the site. And I think there's enough people here that would generally would like to get involved with it. I think it's going to be really interesting to think about the next uh, stage for the Vetch Veg project and how people will run it after I'm gone in September. And I think it'll be interesting to see how much of the art dialogue is kept as part of the site's uh, lifetime, whether they'll continue to talk about this as an artwork or whether they'll just forget about it and it just becomes this vegetable garden. Either way, it doesn't matter. Everyone's invested in it, so it's now there's a real sense of um, sort of ownership but also sharing stuff and all those kinds of ideas and it's created a kind of urban utopia in the middle of the city which is a really important thing. <laughs>